Oh, good evening, everyone. It is uh, June 1st. It's hard to believe it's already June. Uh, just going to put together my last week or so of my turkey season. Uh, I've been crazy busy with work and I'm working overtime every day. Been working six days a week. We was actually off this past weekend for Memorial Day. And just found out today we'll be off this weekend. It's Memorial Day is the first weekend, full weekend I've had off in probably about three weeks. Uh, been busy, busy. I've uh, been a lot of stuff around the house I've been needing to get caught up on. Vehicles need some work and just all kinds of crazy stuff. But we spent this past weekend with hanging out with some good friends and hanging out with my family. Finally getting caught up on some downtime, but uh, been pretty tired. Uh, I know it don't take long to put a video together sometimes, but uh, I've just been crazy busy. And by the time the night rolls around, I'm just too tired to do anything. Plus, uh, been dealing with a pinched nerve on my neck. It's been giving me a lot of pain in my left arm. So over the last three weeks, uh, I've been seeing a chiropractor uh, a couple times a week, and he's got me straightened back up, doing really good. I still got to see some other doctors later on down the road. But as for right now, I'm doing good. Not being able to shoot my bow very much either, so that's really aggravating me too. Um, May 14th was the last day that I was able to go out hunting. And little did I know it, that was going to be the last day of my turkey season, not the way I had planned. So anyway, I did get a little bit of footage here and there. I uh, hope to not bore you too much. I'm going to give you a buzzkill. <laughs> that was nothing else taken during this season, but did get a little bit of footage of things. So uh, guys, hope you all enjoy that. I am behind on some of the videos I've been wanting to do. So uh, hope to hear the next couple weeks. I uh, hope they have me. Uh, I, I got one short one I want to do, and I got another one I want to do. It's probably going to be a little bit longer. Hope to have them out here in the next uh, two weeks, hopefully. So, anyway, guys, enjoy your watching. Uh, thanks to all new subscribers, and uh, enjoy this video, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys here in a couple weeks. That's yeah, always a good sign when you find this right here. That's where the turkey's been dusting themselves. I actually found this last Friday, because last Friday is when I had an encounter with them birds down through here. I'm heading down there now to set up. I may go going down. Was well, up top of this ridge over about three ridges over. I was over there this morning, had a lot of gobblers over there. I heard one down here a little while ago, but uh, only my bird just showed up on the way back over. I did have a hen walking up over the hill on top of me, so my streak continues. I've seen a hen every day I've been drinking so far, but uh, yeah, I found this last Friday. They've been dusting right here. Get deer side coming up this hill too. Well, guys, it's a good thing my camera, my phone, and me are waterproof. And of course, my gun. Because that rain decided to show up a little bit early. <laughs> I don't care. I don't mind it in the rain. It ain't going to get too bad. Just pass through here. Just make these leaves a little quieter. A big old clumsy hillbilly like me don't make a lot of noise. Uh, takes them away real quick. Made some calls. Didn't hear anything. So I think it's time to move on. By it's 11 o'clock. I don't know how well you can tell, but I am soaked to the bottom. It's been raining steady for 45 minutes. I know they've called for a light chance of rain before 1 o'clock today, just a small bit. But it's been raining on and off all morning a little bit and stopped with and stopped. Last 45 minutes, it's really come down pretty good, and I am soaked. And <laughs> I looked great on it, it's not letting up anytime soon, so. I did have one gum down over the hill, but right before the rain started. And, uh, I called a few times up they came up here, but uh, yeah, my experience, and I've heard before, it's, it's hard to call them up a hill, so I've always heard that, and I'm not really having much luck with it myself, so. Uh, I'm, I'm just over the crest of this ridge here behind me, when I come in some when I come in, I drop down over the ridge probably about. 50 yards, 60 yards over to the right there. Uh, man, nice. Man, I have found a nice deer truck going out there, and I found some nice size rubs. Some old and some not so old. And this little knoll that I'm on now, a lot of white oaks right here, and I'm running in the brush. I already picked me up two or three trees. I'll probably be sitting there in this fall, so uh, 
Anyway, I don't like quitting early. Uh, my web staying out all day, but uh, I think I'm going to work my way back to the truck. Like I said, top this ridge right here behind me. About 200 yards out. I got to walk through a couple fields anyway. And a lot of times they hit the fields on the range. So I'll go up to the edge of the field and stick my head out there and see if I can see something. And maybe make a move on if something's out there. But, all right, guys, this is going to ramp up today for Saturday. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure about it in the morning. Uh, we got church in the morning, but uh, I still have a couple hours I can get out. Uh, but they are calling for some really heavy rain tomorrow, so I gotta get home, get all these clothes dried out, get me dried out. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness my wife bought me this waterproof camera several years ago. Yeah. Kind of hooting, like more of the goo in the day to day. Like that a few minutes ago. And he was off to my, he flew off by right behind me. Now he just flew back up here. Pretty cool. I had a hawk over here to my left about 30 minutes ago. I tried to get the camera on that. It saw me move. I guess I was putting it in. Good morning everyone, it's uh, May 7th, Saturday, uh, this is uh, third week, fourth week, third week, I guess, of our uh, turkey season, yeah, we got five weeks, we got two more weekends after this weekend, uh, it actually goes out on the 22nd, uh, which is on a Sunday, um, I am up here in a whole completely different spot today, I am at uh, Camp Creek uh, State Park, State Forest, uh, it is open to the public to hunt. Um, it is about, actually, uh, it took me right an hour to get to right here. To the, I'm as far up on the mountain as you can get. Uh, parking lot right here, gate right in front of me. Uh, it took me an hour to get here from my driveway. By the time I pulled out my driveway to right here, it took me an hour. But I did have to stop and fill, fill my truck a couple of gas, which, I don't know, it's time to stop and got start again, probably 10 to 15 minutes. That being said, I've already had my heart broke once this morning, so I hope it don't happen again. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, um, well, guys, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm the only person that's hunting up there on this mountain this morning, but uh, if you're not familiar with what that is, it's a pretty good sized pile of bear crap. Um, it is full of corn because I just come from that road out there and probably about 100 yards around the bend there. There's a small cornfield that the DNR planted last year and it still has some corn standing in it so not sure how fresh that is. I walked around this road. I walked out there, I don't know, probably a quarter mile, half a mile out there. I didn't see any tracks in the road. Um, there is right around this bend there's a nice hiking trail. Shoot out this ridge. I'm getting ready to walk out that way. I've called a couple times, I haven't heard the first thing yet, but uh, it's the wind's starting to die down now, so I'm going to get this ridge and try some more calling. Okay, guys, I don't know how well you can see that. That's definitely a bear track right there. Looks like the... Maybe right there and right there. Fairly fresh, I can tell where something been kicking up leaves right here. I was on that road just down on the hill where that bear crap is. That's a pretty decent fresh track. There's leaves kicked up all the way up this road. So, hmm. Guys, right again, there's some, there's some, there's some old right there. I found another back here. 
It's definitely a uh, well used travel corridor for some bears. Good input for this phone. Right, let's check out that view. This is in Camp Creek State Park and State Forest in Mercer County, West Virginia. Uh, I'm up here on top of the mountain. There are countless hiking trails up here. They have campgrounds for hookups for campers, electric water, or if you want to pitch a tent. And they've actually got a uh, campground designated for uh, uh, horses that you can keep your horses in. And, uh, horseback ride through these trails I could very good in this mountain. Like I said, I don't know how many acres this place is. I can't remember, but uh, man, it's beautiful back in there. Well, guys, I've come to another one of the food plots up here. I think this, this one's called number 10. Uh, they call it the wildlife area, number 10. Uh, I think there's 10 of them on the property all together. I've already seen this is the third one, fourth one I've been to. But something pretty unique here. They've got a uh, little remote camping area. And this is probably about a mile and a half back from the parking lot. And you got a little spot right there to put your tent. A little outhouse, a little covered shelter. Pretty nice little place. You have to uh, make by reservation only. Pack out what you pack in. That ain't way for here. That thing where the, uh, I hate to find trash in the woods. Guys, I know this is a turkey hunting video, but <clears throat> I just thought I'd show you this real quick. I've heard about this cabin. Uh, a buddy of mine, West Virginia Outdoors, when he did a video when this thing was being built, um, I was actually just over there, got a little uh, shelter over there. Uh, but this is a uh, cabin that they. Uh, once again, you can be rented out, but you have to make reservations for it. Uh, they built this in 2020, and you can, uh, I guess, any time of year, you just got to hike back in here and do it. Uh, all the wood on this cabin was made from uh, trees that was uh, harvested off this uh, state forest up here. I think that's pretty neat, but pretty good looking cabin. Hey guys, I am back to the truck. Uh, I'm going to give it, go ahead and give it up a little bit early today. I hate doing it, but my hopes wasn't high. I'm really seeing much today anyway with this weather and this late in the season and being on public land. But uh, it's a little after 10 o'clock. It's been drizzling light rain on and off all day, all morning. Uh, I'm a little wet, not terrible. It's almost a carbon copy of last Saturday, but the last Saturday about 10, 30, 11, 45, it just come a heavy rain. I sit out in it for about an hour and I finally give up. So keep looking at the radar. There's rain in the area. At one point it looked like it's breaking up then it looks like it's going to get heavy again. But the wind is definitely picking up. So I walked a total of five miles today. Uh, heard one hen and that was about quarter to eight. There comes some more rain. It was about a quarter to eight, and she was just down over the hill from where I was at, and I was in a field that they had planted some corn in last year. So I was scrambling to try to get over in the edge of the field. It was pretty thick all around it, and I found a little spot and got over it, but I, w I didn't have much of an opening to shoot through, but I was hoping maybe she'd come up there and maybe have a boyfriend with her. But uh, I don't know if she seen me setting up or what. She wasn't that far away when I heard her. And uh, when I got set up, I sat there for a few minutes and I gave a call and I never did hear anything else. I sat there for probably 30, 40 minutes, never heard or saw anything. So I just got up and started walking around again. Uh, saw five rabbits, five different rabbits today, uh, all in the same big field. Saw one going in, four on the way out. And uh, saw all kinds of bear sign in here today for a lot of fresh droppings. Uh, fresh piles a lot. I, I, I know six or seven piles anyway. I've lost count and I saw a couple such tracks. So, uh, definitely some bears in here, so that'd be good for this fall. I'm definitely wanting to give me another one. So, uh, anyway, with that being said, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Worked 12 hours yesterday and uh, come up here today. Like I said, my, my expectations wasn't real high. I've never shot a turkey this late in the year. And uh, so, but you never know. I'm not going to give up. Uh, don't know about tomorrow yet. I'm going to go home chill out for a while. Uh, probably hit the gym. I ain't been in the gym all week. Uh, 
probably do that this evening. Uh, took my wife out some more for Mother's Day and um, back to work on Monday. And got two Saturdays for sure. I'll definitely be in the woods somewhere unless I take out next Saturday. So, guys, stay tuned. Probably won't be much action on these videos. A lot of me talking, just explaining what I'm doing. But uh, and I do appreciate everybody uh, watching it. And uh, I do have uh, a couple more videos I'm gonna get done as soon as turkey season is over with. I got some things planned and uh, got something else coming up in September I'm gonna announce. Uh, so, guys, just stick with the channel. Thank you, appreciate it.